All right. Uh, yeah, we're going in behind him. That's really risky, man. This is super risky. Our boss is in the next door, Anomaly. communicating in some device thing, and we're sitting here about to hack right into the room next to him. But we'll manage. We'll get what we need to do. Now, what do we have in this data store over here? An overclock. I haven't even- how many overclocks? I only have three overclocks. That's ridiculous, considering how many systems I've gone through already. Okay. What's back here? Why can't I climb up it? There's a bunch of items, but it's not letting me get up there. Alright. If it's not gonna let me do a big hop, yeah, I'll manipulate the system. And do a tiny hop on top of a box. Is that it? And then there's like a little vent thing here. Would this lead out to another area with event access? It does! Oh, well, sort of. I guess I could have gone in from like five different areas, jeez. Hey guys, don't mind me, just Adam Jensen, punching my way through this place. Wow. No one cares, we're all allies here. Oh, that's not- that's like one of the more suspicious looking things we could have done. Yep, don't mind me, just jumping on top of this and, uh, heading in here. At least nobody could have seen me when I went through the vent. Okay. Looking to make sure I don't miss any items, such as reveal software, Alcohol. That looks about it. All right. Uh oh. Ooh boy. Guess we're gonna eavesdrop on Miller's conversation. Alex, the whisper chip is in. Where it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Yes, Shit, it is. Go. Jensen. I need to see you now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. I'll I'll meet you in the office. Uh, I hope that he didn't hear or detect us getting shit done. Hey, get out of here, camera. Ow. Fine. Don't get out of here then. I'm gonna go talk to the boss. Hey. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out, then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. Good, good. God knows, with all what's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Oh, that. No, the trouble's state police. They're pushing us out of the Rizika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Um, hold up, let's see. With all due respect, we were blindsided in Dubai, and those mercs put up one hell of a firefight. I'd like to know who they are. I, I would like that too. Whoever has a, uh, oh shit, no, I have to wonder who am I gonna go after? The terrorists who attacked us in Dubai? Well, the people who bombed the train station. But they could be the same people! I'm gonna insist. With all due respect, we were blindsided in Dubai. And those mercs put up one hell of a firefight. I'd like to know who they were. They were augmented, Jensen. Chances are this will lead right back home. To the train station attack? Maybe. It's possible. But we won't know for sure if we don't investigate both. Max, a solid agent. I'm confident he'll dig up something on the gold masks. 
And once we get Singh reinserted with the Jin, he might be able to use their network to find out even more, as long as his cover wasn't blown. Regardless, I want you looking into Razika before the state police fuck up our crime scene. Yes, sir. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. I just want us in there so we can find out. Chang said you've got him cleaning up in telecam footage that was captured during the bombing. Maybe it can tell us something. Maybe. But between you and me, Chang's become a little more unglued since Razika. Not sure we can wait for him to get his shit together. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. All right. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> so okay. how do I get to Rizika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. I was gonna say, I guess it's finally time to talk with the... the psychologist, because I was expected to do that earlier, but now I guess we're not doing that. Maybe later. Alright, so... What the hell is this? It says neural, so I assume that it just kind of like... It's like a phone call, but in your mind! Oh, I need Jim's keycard, and I can't do any crazy things here. I can't pull out a gun or anything. Oof. Okay. That's fine. Let's see if I can take anything from his office. We got a bio cell, crafting parts. He's at his computer, so I can't steal anything from it. Ooh, oh, there's nothing in his safe. You have your orders, Jensen. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna spin your globe real quick. All right, I'm satisfied. As far as I'm concerned, that did about the work of a psychologist, calming me down. Uh, but let's see what this ebook says. Modern business review: hacks of aggression. In the business world, there is no distinction between a hacktivist and corporate spy. Both damage businesses, banks, and governments. However, quantifying the financial cost of computer crimes is very nearly impossible, even though no one disputes the fact that hackers are the biggest challenge facing corporations today, even in the face of the severe economic downturn following the AUG incident. Estimates of losses range from the fairly conservative, up to 900 billion, to the almost unimaginable hundreds of trillions. But the real danger is the increase in number of hacker groups operating in the shadows of the cyber world. Hundreds of these... Oh, no, it's not letting me scroll down. There we go. Hundreds of these collective operate, or collectives operate on a nation-state level. That is, their technical capabilities match and surpass many countries. Within the hacker underworld, they are superstars. It remains to be seen how cybersecurity measures can be tightened to prevent hack attacks, whether they be denial of service, identity theft, or bank fraud. Well, so far, the best method has been physical security. Operation in China. Our people there are taking down a human trafficking operation. Not the harvesters again. No, that group seems to have shriveled up. This is the Red Arrow Triad. I'm glad we're going after them. For a relatively young organization, they're pretty smart. If they get any bigger, we could be in a lot of trouble. What are you all talking about? I'm glad to hear the harvesters are dying out. They were sick and they hurt me. Fucking harvesters. I hate anybody who sells other people or their parts, even if those parts aren't flesh and blood. Hold on, I want to hear about this red trad. Also, I agree. That's awful. This is my third overtime shift this month. It's good we're going after the Red Arrow Triad, but we can't do everything at once. I don't know, man. I can kind of... Well, I can't be everywhere at once, but I can get some shit done. Oh, shit! I missed a pocket secretary in a couple of different areas. Uh, there's one back there. John, uh, Jean Guy Clotet. JG, did you and Chang move the NSN server room keycard? I thought we agreed to keep it on the lower level. I don't have time for this. State police is stonewalling me again, and I have to call the minister. 
Lower level in a set card. Well, I mean, I already got into there, so we're good on that part, but there was a- Maybe the connection is that there is no connection. Is that fucked up? I could have sworn I saw a pocket secretary around here. But I might be thinking of a different floor. It's actually hard to fully know because there's just so much to this place. Be careful. Hello? Counterterrorism, Duncan McCready. Well, I couldn't find a pocket secretary in one of these rooms upstairs, so it's either downstairs or I grabbed it and I just don't remember it. McCready, I'm here to Agent interrupt Jensen. your. Oh! Well Sing! Agent Sing, wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies, at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. That sting went to hell faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the red-eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. Re-embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're thinking the Jin can get a beat on our gate crashers faster than TF-29? Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? I have. Yeah, once. But it's a long story. Did we get anything out of the cleanup operation? Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID scrubbed. No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be ex-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jumped from that ship. At least we recovered the weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. Enough to build another couple of you. That... that is a joke. <laughs> right. It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally, in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but... For no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so hard? Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal. And one of thousands of workers outfitted for construction. Then... That day. I know. No, Agent Jensen. You could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful god. What? What? Okay, alright, I understand the whole getting, uh... worked up over the whole thing. But, how could I not know how the whole thing went down? I know more than you do, motherfucker! I was there when the Switch got- I killed crazy augmented people who tried to fucking smack me around on sight! Motherfucker sitting there. No, Agent Jensen. You could not know what it was like. God. I mean, sure, none of them were like super, super augmented with, say, construction gear. Now that, that would have been a bit scary. They were just mostly normal, average looking Joes who all went down with headshots, but. Jeez. What a dumb thing to say, especially to a person who's augmented in general. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you only feel like an imposter out here. In the real world. Yeah, I understand the feeling. Alright, Sing, you have a good time out there. 
I'm scheduled to return from the dead at 030 Omani time. I had better get back to stowing. I hate this. I really hate this. <laughs> He's got the red eye flight. That sucks for him. But hey, if it's paid for, at least he didn't have to worry about that. Who knows? Maybe he even got he even has first class. McCready! Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Seeing's cover with the Jin is still intact, I'm hoping, once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, oh, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen. And I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. <sighs> yeah, right. Uh, well, I'm gonna actually... contest that whole thing, but I guess let me figure out, let's see. Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops fi uh, filing a monthly quota here. <laughs> uh... No, challenge is mean. <laughs> Who knows, maybe if you dig enough holes in the desert, you'll find something out there. Oh, uh, that's a good one. We're gonna do focus. Come on, McCready, we're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose collar it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen. I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't gonna change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out of the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? That's a bold statement to make, at least in terms of the involvement part. I might have to come back later on. Oh, uh, let's see. How the hell do you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask about Oman. Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is, we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then, you know what I know. Got everything? Not yet. I want to know your story. How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not going to make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25, and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh yeah, it's very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, after 12 years hunting terrorist shipbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. So what brought you back to the life? I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Low blow, man. Low blow. Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Ah, I like that part of him. Look, Jensen, I told you I have work to do. He's honest. 
He's honest. I like that aspect of his personality. Even if he's trying to contend us at almost every opportunity. Oh, now that he's at it, ah, it legitimately opens up. I wonder if I could have hacked it while he was there. And then he would just, like, go away. Oh, stole your pistol. Sorry, it happens. I think Director Miller's making a mistake, putting all our resources into finding these Dubai newcomers. Having an unidentified enemy is bad, but we were right there at the Jin's doorstep, and now we're letting ourselves get distracted. Yeah, well, to be fair, the Jin got their shit fucking wrecked, so they're not gonna be doing much for a while. I mean, they're gonna be trying to figure out who's who. And that's good for them, but it's not gonna matter much for us, I think. Trace program initiated. Access granted. All right, what do we got inside of here? Arc member in custody, Strick. State police arrested a woman named Irina Markova, trying to cross a checkpoint with fake papers. She's been in Arc for 18 months. Alexi has footage of her in the BG at one of these Rutgers early press conferences. The cops didn't want to, uh, want to release her to us, of course, but I pulled rank. She should be here pretty soon. Director Miller's mandate with Markova is he wants to know the full extent of Arc's connection to the bombing. Okay, and then what about this? Vince, last night I, I lit. Hold on. Shh. Probably shut that down before. All right, Vince. Last night I leaned on the local Ark sympathizer to see, a sympathizer to see if he knew anything about the bombing, and he gave me two names: Vlasta, a prog smuggler with some sort of connection to Diwali, and an ambiguous or ambitious, upworldly, mobile neon smuggler who goes by the name Chargonborn. Apparently, they're having some sort of turf war. Nothing I can use, but I hope you'll find it useful. Unless you have some more intel from your end, Strick. Okay, Strick. Thanks for the heads up. But I know all about Vlasta. He's in my crosshairs already. It's only a matter of time. And forget Charzenborg. He's just a bullshit rumor. A dead end. What? Are you kidding me? He's not a dead end. I've been in his place. What do we got here? Og is here. The fuck is that referring to? Whoa. What's going on in this room? Can, is there is there oh Adam Jensen it's me Wow there's a lot of stuff here holy crap uh Aria now this is the shooting competition thing security change given a recent string of things uh given a recent string of questionable network activity as well as a general climate of fear and suspicion and heightened security threats in the city I would like us to move ahead with new security protocols stage one of these protocols includes the deployment of an automated network system or a refresh system that changes all general system passwords every six days this will also affect your personal passwords you'll be prompted to change them manually and meaningfully far more often than you're used to what do I mean by meaningfully good question I mean the system is designed to distinguish a secure password from a crater size security risk trust it Chang. Okay, <laughs> that's a good idea. Shut up. Hold up. Let me look at Adam Jensen's desk. Why do we have so much goddamn cereal? Oh, hey! It's... I assume the package that came with our jacket. This is a really snazzy jacket. I'll give him credit on that. So apparently Acronym is an actual real-life company. And that's pretty super amusing because I looked at their stuff and their shit's ridiculously expensive. Like, one of their nicest looking coats is over 1400 euros? Aha! Aha! Or, or no, it was like 1200 euros. They're like, it, it came out to 14 or 1400 dollars. And, um, I don't think I would ever spend 1400 dollars on a jacket. Even if I was a billionaire. That's just so. Ugh, asinine. It looks fucking nice. Really, really nice. But damn, you could probably get, like, a cosplayer to make a jacket like that for less than 200 bucks. Maybe even less than 100 if they're really determined. <laughs> so, no. No $1,400 going down there. Alright. Uh, Dubai mission. This is to address the recent mission in Dubai. We all know someone who died in that action. Our one consolation is that they died doing what they all believed in. Trying to make the world a better place. However, there is no excuse for the mission going to hell the way it did. The reasons it did are now under thorough investigation. We can all do better than this, and from now on, we will. For them. Furthers, or further, rumors have come to my attention which question why we were in charge of the op in the first place, rather than station Muscat. 
These speculations are a distraction and strongly discouraged. Please remain focused on the actual task at hand. That's a great way to make people question it even more. Those were our people we lost. It falls to us to avenge them. Memorial services will be forthcoming. Okay. What about this? Oh, jeez. Azin. Uh, this is an introduction. Azin, now resident psychiatrist for the Prague Bureau. In addition to providing consultancy training for psychological profiling, hostage negotiation, and criminal communication, I'll also be the person responsible for staff psychological assessment and counsel. Due to the nature of our work here at Task Force 29, every agent has a high risk of exposure to emotional stress and potential trauma. Mental health is just as important as physical health, if not more. So it's important for you to have access to relevant professional support, both during and after the ca any case you might be working on. I look forward to meeting everyone individually over the following weeks for an initial consultation. Regards, Dr. Delara Azim. I am interested in meeting her and seeing what she has to say about us. How about this? Agent Jensen, I notice you have not yet picked up the supply of neuropathy I ordered for you this month. I also noticed it's the third time in a row that you have been late picking up your prescription. In my experience, agents like yourself are prone to testing their limits, denying themselves the crucial me medicine they need due to their either pride or an overinstated sense of machismo, or a well-intentioned but misbelief, uh, misplaced belief that others might need it more. If none of these reasons describe you, I sincerely apologize. But I suggest you not be late again, for I will be forced to assume you are obtaining the drug somewhere else, illicitly, and we will have to report you to the head office. Thank you for your cooperation. Shit. Well, I just took three neuropathies from her office, so I mean, technically, we're good now. Uh, Dubai. I'm still waiting on your after-action report. We all gotta follow them, you know? Drag your heels much longer and I'll write up myself. Guaranteed you won't look good at it. Uh, I'm Adam Jensen. I don't write reports. Now, question. Why in the all hell is there a laser grid right behind this wall? I'm gonna use one of my bio cells if this doesn't. All right, there we go. Ah, fine, bio cell. Just because I really want to see what the fuck's going on here. These guys might as well be ghosts. I don't see any way to get into here. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well, that was a waste of a bio cell, but fucking whatever. I, I I know knowledge now. That is the... That's the elevator. <laughs> that's the laser grid we passed through while going down the elevator. Gotcha. Alright. Well. What? Oh! It was Sing. He was Sing like, Agent Jensen! No, we're, we're good, man. We talk. I'm now looking around, seeing if I missed anything, if I can get anything useful. And if not, well, I mean... At least I try to look again. I think we're good here. Everyone's gone, so it's actually up to us to just kind of leave. You know who's been suspiciously quiet the last couple of days? The Collective. Judging by their silence, maybe Janus's people have some respect for the victims of terrorism. Mm, nope, they're still probably super angry at everybody. Alright. So obviously I can't really talk to the people in here, but your door is open, so he can he can leave at any time. You know, minus the fact that he's strapped to the chair. But eventually, if he breaks himself out, I've paved the way for him. Uh, just as a sentimental thing for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and clock these. Actually, where was this? This is the NSN servers. Oh! Oh! That's upstairs! I mean, I figured it was upstairs beforehand, but now we know exactly where the NSN servers, that area up there-ish, right there. We got access to it because we opened the door down here. Nice. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam, hang on a sec. Filling out supply request forms for McCready and his boys is tedious as hell, but I don't want to give him another reason to say no. Say no to what? Are you kidding me? Right now, you're the only active augmented agent we have. I'm hoping to change that, been asking him every week practically, but so far, permission denied. Really? He gave you a reason? Says my stress levels are too high. Told me I should sign up for meditation classes and drag Chang in with me so he'd chill out and stop changing security codes all the time. It sucks, because I really wanted to find out who those crashers in Dubai were. 
You were saying your stress levels were affecting your chances of becoming a field agent. Why is that? I have a rare resistance to neuropazine. I need more than the average person, especially in stressful situations. They say I'd be too expensive. So it's not just discrimination that would be easier to deal with. It's a combination of things. Well, that combination of things is pretty bad in Prague and getting worse. I know, but Interpol was the only agency who would give me a chance, and this is where I was assigned. I have no problem with that. I'll take whatever they throw at me. Good. It took me months of rehabilitation, getting used to the new arm, learning how to shoot again, learning how to tie my own boots. But I did it, and I'm better than I was before. I want to help, and I can. My place is out there in the field where I can make a difference. You know that. And if you can do it, so can I. Don't give up, Aria. Semper Fi. <laughs> uh, nice moment of connection, Jensen. I like how I... <laughs> if you can do it, so can I. Uh, lady, I am... I think the only thing left human is part of my chest and my head. Everything else is mechanical. That's given me a lot of advantages, quite honestly. And I found out I have even more advantages than I knew of. Well, because they were put there after the fact. After the bombing, when Chang changed all the locks and codes, was he under orders? Was there a credible threat to our location? Maybe, but I don't think so. You know how he gets. Still, he wasn't the only one overreacting this time. A lot of people have been here for over 36 hours, and the state police have not exactly been cooperative. I can imagine. It took several hours before we got the security footage from the train station and the surrounding streets. It's like they don't trust Interpol. It's weird. I can almost understand Chang's paranoia. Well, Chang doesn't trust anyone, especially anyone in law enforcement. Well, if you thought he was high-strung before, the attack only made him more manic. He's making connections no one else sees, and some that may not be there. Explosions tend to damage things like sensitive electronic equipment. Right? Try telling him that. <laughs> well, I'm already kind of checking in on a thing for him, so well, maybe I'll do that later. I still can't believe Miller gave the gold mask case to McCready. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You were there, too. You're probably as pissed about those guys getting the drop on the team in Dubai as McCready is. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Agent Singh might have been killed. <laughs> His reaction is like, I know, right? <laughs> I'm responsible for everything, and yet they just, they just, they just screw me over. God damn it, Miller. Well, I better let you get back to work. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Adam. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> I can't talk well, about anything else. I better let you get back. Yeah, sure. I didn't realize she was augmented, honestly. I wouldn't have known she was augmented at all if she hadn't said it herself. Wow. I am, uh... I just didn't really check her out that much. I just kind of was like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, lady. Alright, we have some weapons here that I could take. I'm happy about that. They're not going to be happy about me taking it. Oh, Arya, I'm sorry. We're friends, or at least decent acquaintances. I'm an AUG, you're an AUG, you're happy about that, but I, I got I got a snoop on your business email. Okay, let's see what you got going on in here. She's obviously not going to talk about anything super personal on her own email here. Cause that'd be dumb, right? Uh, Aria, the shipment came in at last. I'll have to- I'll have to leave before you're off shift, so I'll drop off what you need before I go. But I need you to fill out the usual dosage reports on my computer before you take the drugs off-site. Just for today, the password is Neuropazine. <laughs> that, that's simple, alright. Safe, not working. Uh, Peter, I tried changing the code to my secure storage as part of the, of the refresh you ordered, but it's not working. I follow the usual steps, but it's still stuck on 2023 no matter what I put in. There's like a triple beeping sound when I try to confirm. I don't think it's me. Or maybe it is me. Who knows? This is why I'm in charge of guns. I pass by to look at your safe and you'll be pleased to know it's not you. It looks like a secure circuitry problem, so it'll be a few days before I can have it fixed. I'll keep you posted. Gold Star for taking me seriously, too. At least someone understands the need for security in this place. <laughs> Alright, and then McCready. Arya, since I know you want to get back into the field, and I thought I'd clarify a few things about Mac. He's a world-class prick. Of that, there is no doubt. But from what I hear, he's got some bad history with Augs. Not that I pretend to know what it is. 
Of course, that shouldn't absolve him from being a decent human being, but there it is. Prick aside, Mac's a pro, and he recognizes how useful they can be in an emergency. Thing is, though, given that Prague is one of the most anti-Og cities on the planet, probably not the best place for an augmented agent. I hate to say it, but good guy or not, the thought of well-armed and well-trained Ogs walking the streets scares the shit out of most people. But if you ask me, his biggest problem is Jensen. Normally, agents answer to Mac, but Jensen seems to get special treatment. I blame Director Miller for that. Mac's been here longer than anybody, and everybody looks up to him. He's a deputy in everything but name, so Miller should stop cutting him off at the knees. Yeah, but... Madam Jensen, I have things I gotta do. I have to save the world. I want things in here. If you got the items for just using the code as well, that'd be nice. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Oh well. I just kind of Subconsciously went through all that. Didn't really look where I was going. Didn't realize I was, I was capturing the capture nodes. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save. Because this is a five network. And that might not be good for us. Alright. Okay, the closest path to us would technically be from these two directions. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna fortify these, actually. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Woo, this was taking a while. Oh, it's an eight. I should have nuked it. We're gonna do a stop warp. And then we should be good on all the other fronts, because these are a five and three. Actually, nope, it's a nine. Oh shit! This thing buffed the hell out of them. Oh no! I didn't realize that. It reached them before I had a chance, man. It's not fair. Nuke. Nuke. Access granted. 